Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Google Chrome version 125 that is now available. And this latest release rolled out a day later. It should have rolled out at first starting late Tuesday in my region, but Google decided to push it out um, late yesterday in my region, which was the 15th of May. And normally when they do roll it out a day or so later, there's normally a bug or so that they have to um, address before they push it out to the general public. So as always, to double check, we have this latest release. We head to our main menu help about Google Chrome. And the latest version and build after the update has been applied is now sitting on 125.0.6422.60 or 61. Either or with that point release on version 125, if you're running Windows, Mac or Linux, means you're up to date. Now, first of all, focusing on the security fixes that have rolled out. We get nine security fixes that have been made available. And believe it or not, um, one of those security issues, which is a high-risk security vulnerability, is now our third zero day that Google is patching in the span of the last week or so. So clearly a couple of things and problems happening when it comes to the security side of things in Google Chrome. So out of the nine security vulnerabilities that have been patched, we get two high risk, which is the second highest after critical. And the zero day is CVE 20244947, which is type confusion in V8. That's the V8 JavaScript engine where Google say they are aware that an exploit for this CVE exists in the wild. So that means it's out there, it's current, and it's happening. So important to double check that your browser is up to date. And then the other high risk uh, is use after free in Dawn, which is a common exploit. And then we get one medium and then a couple of lows. So nine security fixes, two high risk, and one of those high risk um, is a zero day, which is already exploited. So just double check your browser's up to date. And Vivaldi has already received the same security fix. So I'm sure the other Chromium-based web browsers will get more or less the same security fixes rolling out sooner than later. Now, focusing on what's new, and there's not too much going on in regards to new features in 125, and I think that's because of the shorter release cycle. But I have noticed a couple of tweaks and adjustments, so just to bring these to your attention if you are interested in what's new. So, as mentioned with the early stable video I posted, it seems now that if we head to our side panel, which you can open by clicking on history or reading mode or favorites, the side panel now is animated. So before it used to kind of pop into focus, so now it kind of slides in and out from the side, from the right-hand side, which makes it feel a lot more native to the browser and more part of the browser, where previously it felt a little bit detached. So it would kind of like pop into focus, and then we can see now it's sliding into focus. So I think that's a nice little UI tweak and adjustment. And then the next two changes are basically taking place under the hood. And they are buried quite deep in the settings, but um, just to uh, keep you guys posted, there are new privacy controls in version 125 for desktop. And if we head uh, to our settings once again, and this time we navigate to privacy and security, and we scroll down to site settings, and yeah, we're looking for additional permissions. And we scroll down, and here we can see scrolling and zooming. So basically, uh, this new version has received these additional controls in the site permissions panel, which allow you to decide if websites can lock the pointer and scroll and zoom. So I think that's a nice privacy and security addition, which if, if you are interested is buried quite deep in those settings. And then um, the last one to mention for this video is that Chrome 125 makes browsing now more secure by putting the network service on Windows into a sandbox. So if we head to our main menu once again, more tools, task manager. Uh, yeah, you'll see network service. There we go. So that network service now um, has been placed uh, into a sandbox. So basically the network service was already in its own process before, but with sandboxing, it will be harder for third-party code to be injected which, and obviously that's malicious code that can be injected into the network service, which is a core component of the Google Chrome web browser. So obviously that is a nice security enhancement where um, the network service on Windows, so if you are using the browser on Windows, that now has been sandboxed, which I think is a nice addition. So guys, that's more or less what's new. As mentioned, not too many front-facing features. I think the big one, yeah, is that zero day, 
which is the third zero day security issue that's been addressed over the last week or so. So just double check your browser is up to date. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.